Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Hi guys, it's Gigi. I'm starting um, some things about section two for our Gypsy Wife Quilt Along. So I, there are a couple of things I wanted to share with you and get us started with today. There are some um, more involved blocks. I'm not gonna say hard, they're just more involved. They have more pieces. And that can kind of lead to things where if the more you piece in one little block, you end up with losing some space and it doesn't come out exactly nine and a half. So ask me how I know. So hopefully I can give you some hints to get you through so they all end up the right size. So section two, we're gonna be doing page six and I'm gonna be teaching you that as a papered piece project and that's Pershing block. We have um, page 20, the courthouse steps. That's going to be seven and a half inches. We have three square and squares. Um, one is three and a half inches and one is six and a half bordered. So that's a little different. And then Old Maid Puzzle is another paper piece, paper um, thing. The links that, that people have done this before, thankfully. So the links are going to be on our website of where to get the paper piecing patterns. The key to that is making sure that your printer is on 100% when you print it out so that it prints out the correct size. Um, I want to start with teaching you how to paper piece um, with a small square in the square, which we need for this section anyway. Um, I got it for free from www generations-quilt-patterns.com and they have all kind of free paper piecing um, patterns of different sizes and different shapes and stars and whatnot. So that being said, this pattern calls for let's say the Old Maid Block. If you Google Old Maid Block on the internet, you may end up finding 13 different ways to make the old made block. Some have triangles, some have half square triangles, whatever it might be. Um, as long as you have a block that is nine and a half inches, if you don't wish to do the exact pattern that she has in her book that Jen Kingwell does, that's fine. Nine and a half inches is nine and a half inches, however you want to put it together. Um, so look and see, there may be something that appeals to you more than what, but I'm going to be doing what she did exactly so that we can follow along the pattern. But I just wanted you to know that's an option. Um, when paper piecing, that um, you set your stitch length really close together. You're going to be stitching onto a piece of paper with your fabric and you want it to be, um, it's gonna perforate it so that later you can tear it away easily. So a tighter stitch is better. It also holds it, um, a lot of times why we are paper piecing is because of the shapes of the blocks and the size of the um, pieces, I'm sorry, that we're putting in there. And they may be cut on the bias, which is something like this. When you cut, you have a square, it looks like that. Sorry, it looks like that. When you cut it from angle to angle, you are now cutting on the bias. So that can stretch and get wonky. So paper piecing helps it not to get all wonky. Um, this is a picture of one of my uh, purging blocks, um, not paper pieced. So you'll see that it's just put together as I cut based on what she put in the pattern. Then I did one that was paper pieced, is a little different. Not as much contrast, my daughter pointed out. I should have put more contrast between these pieces here, but I still like it a lot. So I have a couple of um, options I'll be able to use and maybe put the others on the back of my quilt 
by the time I finish this, I'm going to have so many of them, I make like 12 quilts, but that's, that's another story. Okay, um, so I printed out, for us to start with, here we go, um, a page from GenerationsQuiltPatterns.com, and this is um, for a three-inch finished square and a square. From the dotted line, I don't know if you can see that, from the dotted line to the dotted line is three and a half inches. That's so that we have a space to put it into our quilt. This is a size we need for this section. So I'm going to start our paper piecing with one of these to practice so that you can get it down. It's not hard. It's a little fiddly sometimes, and especially when you're starting. We want to start um, with our quarter of an inch all the way on the You'll see in a minute when I show you. Um, so the first piece is a little specific. Then after that, you just sort of kind of put it on stitch, put it on stitch, cut, and go. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Okay, so that's we're getting ready to start that one, and um, we'll be on our way. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Want to Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on, and then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's just want a quilt.com spelled W A N N A. Just want a quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker. And if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome. <laughs>